Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. Today, I thought we would talk about levers and switches. So I had a look around the Steam Workshop just to see what sort of items were actually available for this sort of function. And I had a go at building some on my own, on my own station. But this is what I found on the Workshop, so this is a really great example of levers and switches. So what we've got here is a button. So basically the idea is you press this down and it reveals an actual solar panel. Most of these are based on solar panels and switches pushing different things. So you can see the actual button has pushed back this lever here and actually revealed the solar panel to the sunlight. So we've seen a lot of these sort of things before, especially on the landing pad that we showed a while ago. And this one keeps resetting itself when I nudge it, you can see there. So what would have to happen is once it gets enough power, the rotor can reset it once again. So you can see the rotor here at this part, once it gets enough power, it pushes back around, resetting the button back in place. Very nice, simple idea. So we'll move on to a lever now. So this lever is going to activate this light and it works pretty much in the same fashion. So we're just gonna push upon that, we have to walk push upon that like so and it's revealed a landing gear at the back and you can see how it's um, pushing me back as it's resetting because it's got enough power from that light and it should be enough light to actually power this light onwards so actually it's not been because it's not been switched open long enough so let's just trap it there a little bit longer and we'll let it switch itself so the reset function on this is proving a little bit harder so what I would probably do is just disable this rotor so let's go in here and with a K and then a control panel we can actually look at the rotor and I would just switch this off because if you want to switch all your lights on say for instance in a certain room you could run up to it switch it over to that side let all the lights come in on that room and it would look pretty damn interesting especially in a station where you, it would just immerse you uh, well immerse you much more in the experience rather than have to go into a control panel and then just turn in all the lights on and so on but with this you can just simply walk past turn it off obviously the downside is that it's a big it looks big bulky it looks a bit silly so i do wonder if they're going to introduce some sort of switches maybe like a little keypad with a green and blue button like you see on the doors so that'd be really interesting so like a keypad like this but it just go it goes like green when um it's on and then it goes red so instead of like opening the door like this it presses the button and it controls everything that's connected to it with power on power off basically That'd be really interesting to see. So now we're going to actually have a look at controlling a missile using this function. So you can probably imagine what's going to happen here. So we're going to push this switch over, like so. And this switch is actually going to affect that rocket here by adjusting the gravitational field once that solar panel actually has enough power. And it should launch the rocket towards me. So it's a little bit of a delayed thing, but it could work like this. Imagine having something similar to this in a ship, but the actual missile itself is strapped down to the deck. You switch a lever over and the gravity actual generator is powered up by the solar panel. And then it allows you to launch your missiles through gravity. I mean, it would save you a lot of time because I mean, imagine having your ship constantly with a gravitational field like that. It's horrible. It's horrible. So you'd either have to switch it on through the console or you could have a guy with, with a big lever Oh, it's, it's so awesome. Just, just have a big lever and then just launch it that way. So that would be pretty damn interesting. So once the solar panel's cut off, there's no longer to be able to power it. Very interesting concept. It can be a little challenging to do this, but I think the idea is a very sound idea. I'd love to hear what you guys think about switches and levers, or you think that there's going to be another way maybe to actually control functions like this. Since that video was a little short, and I just wanted to get across the concept of levers and switches, I thought I would show you a little bit of a treat of what the big project I'm currently working on that's taken up quite a lot of my time. So this is it itself. I'll give you one hint and one hit only, oh, well, one hint only, is a racetrack from quite a big movie. There's no buildings been built just yet, but buildings will be lining both sides of this and it's gonna have a very deserty theme. Maybe some of you guys have got it already. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you don't know at all. But yeah, it goes into the first corner here, and it is going to be extremely interesting. Maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.